Hello and welcome to the channel. Welcome back. And if it's your first time, thank you for joining me today on my channel. Hope you'll join me in some future videos. Today is uh, kind of a, a solemn day, uh, a solemn video. Uh, I haven't done a video for a couple weeks. And uh, the reason for that is well, my dad passed away a couple weeks ago, and uh, been dealing with that. And I wanted to have this next video as a dedication to him. Today I'm at a park called Bataan Memorial Park, and I'm here for several re reasons. One is to let you know about my dad and dedicate this video to him. You'll see a little video that I put together earlier to uh, dedicate it to him but uh, I like to highlight the city's <clears throat> uh, the city's parks uh, parks all around Albuquerque and this is one I haven't been to for a long time it's pretty cool uh, it's in regards to the uh, Baton March death march and uh, wanted to show a staple across the street here called uh, Models Pharmacy. It was a staple in Albuquerque for over 70 years. They used to be across the street here in the mid 80s they moved uh, across the street. They closed because of the pandemic uh, last summer. But uh, I'm going to try to get some pictures up on the screen let you know what that looked like. Pretty interesting. But. Uh, I appreciate you letting me uh, tell you about some personal information and I'm glad you joined me. Let's check out the park and I uh, just wanted to say uh, part of the uh, eulogy of my dad's funeral uh, last week was he'd want us all to go on and do what we love and live our best life. And. Uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm uh, six of uh, six children that my parents had. My mom died about 21 years ago, and we're fortunate to have my we were fortunate to have my dad around for a good 20, 21 years. But uh, so he was a good person. He was well loved by the family and by my home state in New Mexico. He was pretty well known. Uh, he was uh, on television for well over 40 years and uh, it's left quite a void but I'm gonna keep doing what I like to do which is making videos whether I get one view or, or thousands uh, that's fine I just uh, I like uh, seeing new places it gets me out and uh, hopefully some of the viewers enjoy it so Let's check out a few locations today. Let's go. Pretty nice memorial here. It's got these pillars here that showing the different uh, batteries or companies with a whole list of names during that uh, Bataan March. And these pillars represent the soldiers marching, marching until they died. And uh, you can come here and walk among them and remember the supreme sacrifice that uh, that many service people and even civilians during wartime have uh, have sacrificed there's a nice map here around the Philippines and it's 
It's also a map down here out of cement. Grass hasn't been cut, so it's a little bit hard to see. You can see the different Philippine Islands. Manila Bay right there. Luzon. And of course you have a nice uh, nice big shady park. It's very nice. Now you can see uh, Models Pharmacy. Looks like the sign is still there and still still lettered for that uh, for that store. That's pretty cool. But like I said, it uh, it is closed up. And uh, show you some pictures of what it uh, looked like. It was a continuous. Uh, soda fountain. Uh, I actually had the soda jerk behind the counter there and you had your your soda bar and you came in and ordered your ice cream and soda and uh, it was right here on Lomas and Carlisle for oh about a little over 30 years with a new owner uh, but uh, where I'm standing now there's a Walgreens but it was over here back in the uh, the 1940s. I actually remember this. Uh, I guess it moved across the street in about the early to mid 80s. But before that, I definitely remember it being over here. I did a bunch of research online. I could not find any vintage pictures of the old shop. And uh, so I asked for some help on a, uh, a Facebook um, club and got a bunch of information still no pictures but uh, did confirm that it was over in this area this is considered the Knob Hill area believe it or not although the main strip is south of us so I believe it was right around here originally back in the 40s and it's amazing to have that uh, that uh, soda fountain continue all the way up through just summer of last year. So here we are now across the street. Wanted to uh, get a closer look at it. You can see where it's looks like it's being remodeled. I believe someone purchased it and they're turning it into another another type of business. Kind of hard to see with this giant dumpster here, but kind of see the outline of the building here. You can kind of see in there a little bit of a glare, but you can see some of that uh, some of that equipment. That is pretty cool. At least an old uh, stove and un oven area. That's too bad. I hate to see staples of Albuquerque go away. Especially something unique like this to have a, a soda fountain. And this might be it right here. Yeah, there it is. See if I can find some pictures of uh, of this, at least uh, many years ago. Well, on to the uh, next location in honor of my my dad today. I want to show you where he worked for well over 40 years. It was uh, Channel 7, an ABC affiliate here in Albuquerque and uh, just wanted to go by and check that out and 
say a farewell over there. So here we are at uh, Channel 7, local TV station here in Albuquerque. This is where my dad came to work for many, many years. Now there was a, another station on University Boulevard uh, that he, he worked at, at before they built this, moved here. But, uh, whew, kind of emotional. <clears throat> but I can imagine him coming here every day, worked in the afternoons, and came home for dinner for about an hour, hour and a half, and had to get back, and wasn't home again till till around 11 or so at night, every night for many, many years. I came here a couple times with him. It was pretty fun. It showed me around how the uh, how things worked with the cameras and the green screen and what have you. I know he had his own reserve parking space right under that canopy right there. But uh, I was very proud of him. He did so much more than just. Uh, Worked on the news and weather. He directed uh, the artwork and he was a sculptor, a painter. Did many things in life. He certainly will be missed. Well, I wanted to stop in this little park just off of Comanche here, just east of uh, Carlisle. And Comanche is where my dad used to go up and down to work and home every day. So I just wanted to stop and reflect and imagine, imagine him driving by this little park. Just a small little park with a few benches. Looks like the grass has not been cut for quite some time. It's like walking through a marsh there. Well, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it today. Thank you for allowing me to share some personal information again with you. And uh, like I said earlier, I'm, I like doing these videos and I think he would want me to continue trying to enjoy life the best I can. We're certainly going to miss him, but uh, he'd want us to go on. Well, I guess now it's time to head on home. Take care of yourselves and the others around you. And I'll see you very, very soon. Bye now.